Welcome to the Hydrogen Fuel Cells Europe here at the Hanover Fair 2022. My name is Miriel Buakas and I'm going to do the interview in the next 20 minutes. Maybe you're wondering why we are repeating ourselves over and over again all day. It's also live stream, so therefore we're going to say everything again and again and again. Um, yeah. Um, now we're going to talk about full service supplier for hydrogen coding solutions. And please give a warm applause for my guest, Stefan Drega. He's the president EMEA of Hydrogen Solutions at Impact Coatings. Thanks for being here today, Stefan. Thank you for the invitation. Um, your company just celebrated 25 years anniversary. Congratulations for being in the market. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. As, as you're saying, yeah, we were founded in 1997, uh, 25 years ago, as a spin-off from the Linköping University in Sweden. Um, it's also where our headquarters is based. And yeah, starting with electrical contactors, um, further developing towards um, um, metallization of plastic parts, we finally ended up in a very dynamic hydrogen environment with our decades of experience in, in the PVD coating technology. Can you elaborate, elaborate a bit what you're exactly offering at the moment? I mean, I impact coatings give some ideas, but... Yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, um, as, as the header today says, uh, we see ourselves as a full service supplier for coating solutions in the hydrogen environment. So we speak or we offer on the one side production machinery in different sizes. We offer uh, several different coatings uh, from noble metals and for sure, especially uh, in the fuel cell uh, segment, our unique selling point, uh, a non-noble metal coating with uh, similar or even um, performance like noble metals like gold and uh, also electrolyzer uh, coating portfolio and yeah next next to that um, we 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 also offer the the coating services in in several coating centers yeah. um, you mentioned coating services uh, you mentioned your products what is maybe your business and delivery models how do you operate how do you make sure that your client gets what they need yeah, maybe before coming to the business models, uh, it's Im important to say uh, maybe one, one and a half week ago, we announced uh, also a slight strategy change of our uh, company. So in the past, we were pretty much focusing on selling machines and were very technically focused. Yeah? Now, uh, we really did a lot of work and we are changing our overall strategic setup and um, um, now offering and focusing more on uh, scalable solutions yeah, of our machines, uh, also coating service solutions worldwide and, and uh, all what, what comes with it. Yeah. So um, our target is to get it even, maybe a 50-50% share between services and, and selling machines. And therefore, um, in order also to be closer to our customer, um, we are already present in all key markets, uh, hydrogen key markets in the world, as mentioned, headquarters in Sweden, um, sales offices in Stuttgart, Germany, myself, uh, but also in the US, uh, in South Korea and Seoul and Shanghai. And uh, next to the sales offices, we, we already opened up um, a coating service center in Shanghai so that we can offer local for local coating services and reduce logistic and currency exchange risks and also be closer to our customer. Uh, also for the, the running machines in the market, more than 40 machines uh, operating in serious production worldwide. And yeah, with coming there closer to our customer and also offering them the technical support, this will really increase our value add for all our customers. Yeah? So. Sweden established, China established, and uh, Korea, US, and Germany um, are planned. And um, we will also establish coding service centers there in the next one and a half, two and a half years latest. Sounds very promising, very successful also. Yeah, very S dynamic times. Huh? <laughs> very dynamic. So um, to get it right, you said you just sh changed your strategy, um, or you announced a strategy change, and it's going to be for product focused to service focused 
and uh, solution focused, right? Yes, exactly. So, yeah. uh, I mean, everybody who wants to buy a machine from us, yeah, please come to our booth, <laughs> D67 Seven, slash yeah. one. Uh, and we do so and will do so in the future for sure, but um, we are just expanding uh, our, our offering with also a, a pretty clear service focus. Yeah? So um, you've mentioned before like um, the business and delivery models. How is it changing also because of the strategy announcement or the change of strategy? Yeah, I mean, um, with regards to the business models, um, we have been uh, already quite flexible and offering a full range. So um, as a coding service partner, for sure, you, or our customers can send parts to us. We code them and send it back. But uh, we also offer managed services, or also known as shop in shop. So um, we can place our machine in a customer site and run it with our workforce. Um, or for sure, um, we also sell our machine, train the company, uh, our customer who buys the machine, and then they run the, their machine with their workforce fully on their own. Yeah? Or fully automate the machine, so there we are totally flexible and I'm pretty confident can, can serve the customer needs. Yeah. Okay, um, maybe let's talk about the, the machines you mentioned. Um, you mentioned dynamic times, everybody's talking about scaling up the business. Yeah. Um, how do you make sure that your machine uh, is also still like in the market with all the dynamics? Well, can you elaborate a bit how I mean, your machines work? Maybe what's special with our machine, um, they are not huge train machines. They are, have a fairly small footprint uh, um, and therefore are also cheaper, uh, but uh, with a quite low cycle times. And um, then it's a, a huge advantage for a customer. So the, the, the capital they need to spend, uh, maybe during a ramp up phase, they can start with one machine with a low footprint. And if they need a second or a third one, they can place it in a row, uh, in fully in a production line. And uh, so the, the, the production line can grow with the market demand. And this is really, really cool. Uh. So the, the machines grow with the company, so the scaling up is, is pretty easy, basically. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah. that's very and, nice. Um, I mean, I, this was a general sample. We have right now three different sizes available. And um, yeah, so I think a uh, good solution for, for, for a lot of our customers. Yeah. What is if uh, I just have a, a peak, like I know that, okay, now I have this huge project, but I don't know if there will be more of these kind of projects. Are there different solutions you offer as well? Um, like if there are just peaks um, of like coatings that I have to do, I think you've mentioned something that you can also support the client. Yeah, sure. I mean... With your own with machines, with, with your service center? Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's uh, what I mentioned and what's uh, one of the biggest advantages with our strategy change. Yeah? I mean, having coding centers all over the globe placed uh, near to the customers, we can always help them out in peak seasons yeah? when they may be operating their own machines. But the market demands more and more mm -hmm. uh, coated blades. Uh, then we can step in. Uh, we can back the customers up and, and support them and, and also vice versa. If they don't have own machines during ramp up phase, uh, it's, it's the other way around. Yeah. Um, you've mentioned how fast you're going to grow now in the different markets or how fast you're able to hmm. install yourself. How comes? Is it because, I don't know, is it easier for you? Of course, it's depending on the business you do, but you're quite moving fast forward, right? I mean, yeah, uh, I think we are moving fast forward as the overall hydrogen uh, market is moving fast forward and um, we just have to keep up the pace and um, yeah, want to be a, um, a very good and reliable partner for all our customers and therefore it's, it's just key and necessary to do so uh, and be there local for local, close to the customer. In, in nowadays, in a pandemic world, um, it's just not possible to, to operate everything out of Europe. Yeah? You have to, to go to the market where it's happening and, and therefore yeah, it's, it's crucial to do so. Okay. Uh, maybe to the audience, are there any questions at the moment? Okay. Then uh, I have another question. Um, I mean, you're in the market since quite a while. What are the changes you see in the market, you said it's very dynamic, it's moving fast, we have to move fast as well. Yeah. Um, what do you see as the changes will, like when we look back? 
um, to the last five years or so. I mean, maybe this is um, also quite comparable with the fair here. Yeah? If you compare it uh, to the fairs three, four, five years ago, it's we have way more um, companies here on the fair, and it's the same in, in the hydrogen environment. A lot of newcomers um, in the market uh, with tons of different applications and, and, and specific requirements, and yeah, it's, it's pretty much showing uh, the, the same thing here on the fair with all, all these companies. And uh, therefore, I'm personally also convinced that there is no one single coating solution for each and every application in the market. And uh, therefore, I'm confident that also our PVD coating technology, our broad coating portfolios and the machine uh, in, in addition with the coating centers. So we, we, we are confident to get a piece of the cake and uh, yeah, surf and uh, participate in this dynamic ride in the hydrogen environment. Like there is enough for everyone, right? It's because it's growing uh, so much. Right now it seems so. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure if you ask uh, anybody in the hall here, everybody has uh, its own crystal ball in the, in the gut. Yeah? <laughs> But um, if just the half of the prognosis and scenarios come true, um, yeah, I think we are looking into a bright future. Okay, that sounds very promising. Um, so maybe at the end, or also again, if you have questions, you're always happy, uh, you can always share it. Um, what are the outlook? I mean, you mentioned you're building new um, plants, uh, establish, uh, yes. being local everywhere. Um, where do you see, like, if you look into the glass kugel, if how we say in German, <laughs> um, what do you see in the future? What do you think? Where is it going? Do you think the hydrogen is gonna grow the way it's growing now? What, what do you see as a di direction? Uh, yeah, I mean, as as mentioned, uh, I, I think uh, everybody has its own crystal ball. Um, I think everybody of us sitting here in the hall agrees that. Uh, hydrogen is is key in order to make a, a smooth sustainable transition in the overall industry not just talking about automotive um, about the whole industry and um, yeah therefore I'm, I'm I'm confident that we finally reached the tipping point and um, yeah together with our customers we can support them with the industrialization of, of this this technology yeah. thank you very much for being here today I, I think that's a beautiful last word to <laughs> say uh, there is enough cake for everybody basically uh, thank you for your time for being here Stefan Drega from Impact Coatings thank you very much thank you if you want to talk about it further the booth is D67 one uh, he will be there all week I guess until Thursday um, you sure. can talk to him after um, he's stepping down